So now let's go ahead and you know do the final part, which is the answer generation. So essentially, what we're going to do, we're going to take the relevant chunks right here. We're going to take the user's query, and then we are going to send both to the LLM so that the LLM can give us the final answer. So let's do that. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy paste a bit of code right here. Okay. And I'm also going to import these dependencies up here. All right. So here's what I'm doing right here. Uh, we're essentially just saying based on the following chunks or documents, please answer this question. So I am providing the user query right here and I'm taking the chunks and I'm, uh, you know, inserting it in this particular place. So this character 10 is just going to be like a new line character. And I'm just going to take the page content attribute of each Langchain document and I'm going to list it out right here. And finally, we are saying, please provide a clear, helpful answer using only the information from these documents. If you can't find the answer in the documents, say, I don't have enough information to answer the question based on the provided documents. So we're just saying, we're just forcing the LLM to only answer from the documents and to not use its own knowledge, to not use its own uh, uh, training material. All right. Okay. So we're initializing the, uh, the model right here. I'm, I'm going to use chat open AI. I'm going to use this particular model, uh, does not matter. And finally, uh, a system message that says you are a helpful assistant and we are just providing this combined input and then we're invoking it. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and run this. Let's see what we get. You can see that, you know, we've got five different chunks and we're passing all those chunks plus the user query to the LLM. And finally, the LLM is saying, based on the provided documents, Microsoft's first hardware product release was the Microsoft mouse in 1983. Okay. So that was the answer to the user's question. This is all that we're doing right here. And in the next video, we'll see how we can actually have like a back and forth conversation between us and the rack system. So I will see you in the next video.